whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong answers, there are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Hello and welcome. I am that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome again to slay the princess. I almost subconsciously said slay the spire, kill me. This game was recommended to me by a friend and I actually saw Markiplier had played this, but fortunately I did not actually watch his playthrough of it. I was going to because he's one of my favorite YouTubers that I tend to watch play games that I have either already played or don't plan on playing myself for personal use or for the channel. And I was gonna watch him play this and I thought, let me hold off for a bit just in case somebody suggests I play this. Sure enough, one of my friends definitely did. And so here we go. This is a horror game, it's multiple choice, the several endings, we have to kill a princess. Uh, I'm not gonna have a heart. Hi. Okay, without further ado, hop right in this shit. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods and at the end of that path is a cabin and in the basement of that cabin is a princess you're here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world perfectly good reason for me to do it with no hesitation Explorer, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems a bad, seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Oh my god, there's so, what the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, where did I leave off? Can't someone else do it? Forget it, I'm doing this. I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? That's legitimately me right now. Do I get a, some kind of reward for doing this? Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Silently continues to the cabin. Well, this is, okay, realistically, right? Realistically, this is the narrator talking. I'm not supposed to be hearing this, so I'm silently continuing to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. I like this art style too. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed into the cabin. It's my only option. I really like this art style. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade I'm gonna use to kill. Your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah. Yeah. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Into the basement. I'm going to kill her. I don't know what she's done. The basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Oh, she sounds dangerous. I'm your maker! It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you? Just checking in on you. Hi. <laughs> Wait, what did I pick? Uh. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Uh. 
women like honesty. And if there's one thing that I have learned in in my in my processes of growing as an adult is that even if a woman is not going to like what you have to say, she will appreciate the honesty in the end. So I'm I'm just going to be straight up with her and tell her that I'm I'm here to kill her. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Sure. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. She, women like honesty. Leave me alone. This is all part of the plan. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Yeah, uh, what? No way, why would you even think that? Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, it's between it wasn't a joke and just stepping forward. I don't know what she's capable of yet. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna, again, continue to be, <laughs> continue to be straight up. It wasn't a joke. You brought a knife with you and everything. But you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. No, thank you. She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. I'm standing on business right now. I got my head in my bag. You I didn't come all the way up here to do nothing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm on my, uh... I'm a, what's the what's the name of the character, the genocide character from Undertale? Chara or Kara? Something like that? There's Frisk and then there's Kara, I think. I'm on my Kara genocide run shit. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Yeah? <laughs> okay. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. I'm bold. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Another thing that women like... <laughs> Another thing that women like are bold men. Men who, who have their shit figured out. And that's... I'm standing on business. What if she isn't bluffing? Are you sure? Where's the kill option? Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I meant that shit! This is it, isn't it? It is! I'm so sorry. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Uh-huh. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Kinda! It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. This is how William Afton kept himself alive. He's got a strong will to live, even while dying. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over. Of course it is. She's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has to has some kind of trick over sleep. Of course not. That was too easy. Uh, uh, of course she is. I'm in denial. 110%. Yes, exactly. It's over. Over. Dead and gone. T.I. and Justin Timberlake. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. 
Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? Nah, we're fine. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. Okay. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Leave. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. But then a giant dragon comes in with the princess's head on it! Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Oh, we fucked up. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Oh, we fucked up. What happened? Honey, I killed the princess. Honey, I destroyed the multiverse. Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. That's bullshit! Let me out of here! Oh, okay. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. Yeah. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. <laughs> Talk about denial. Hell no. Do you have any idea how to get out of the, uh, get, get us the heck out of here? Of course we are. I like it here. Uh, well, I personally would rather not stay in a void of darkness, so I'm going to try to find my way out. I do, but you're probably not going to like it. I already don't. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Use it on myself? I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. If it means getting the hell out of here, then I'll do it. He's right. It's the only way out. Let's do it. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of there? Yeah, you're right. I didn't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around and do... Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Anything to get out of here. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? I didn't actually... Eternity of bliss? You... You ingrate... I didn't actually ask for this, so technically you didn't do me a favor at all. Didn't do a goddamn thing for me. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones. Oh, she's actually dead. you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. I'm not human. Either that, the or end. I just chose not to cut I my nails. You. Chapter 2, The Spectre. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in huh? the basement of that cabin is a princess. Huh? Okay, this game did say that there's no premature endings or no wrong choices, but like... Huh? <laughs> Okay, wow. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, so we're playing as a different, we're a different person now. So we're gonna have a different mentality. I wanna say before we had a more like, grounded stand on business mentality. Um, Oh, you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. Oh, these are all like, but I killed myself. Okay, so none of these are really, uh, I'm gonna proceed to the cabin as if I'm a different person. 
I won't make yeah. note of the fact that I you am familiar. Further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. She won't be a problem. Voice of the cold. Huh? The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Voice of the hero. Oh, shit's really getting intense. And I, it's only, I've only been recording for 19 minutes. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Approach the mirror, take the blade. Uh, I'm curious, so I'm going to approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. But there's a mirror on the wall. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. Clearly, it's not even important enough to be acknowledged. Okay. I'm going to... I'm just gonna enter the basement. They said that she's dead already. So we go without a weapon. No need for it, right? The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room below is silent. Nobody's here, naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. Well, I'm very sure because I didn't bring a knife, so I really hope that there's nobody we'll down here. have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay, she's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Oh, she's a ghost now! The spectre! Two deep set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g g g ghost! A g g g g ghost! Open the, 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 the door! Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Excuse me? Have you never seen a horror movie? Or like, any kind of... What do you mean, what can a ghost do to you? A ghost can do a lot to you. Ghosts are ghosts. They're ghosts because they're ghosts. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. I know, I'm sorry, but like I was I was standing on business and I really had to do it or else the world was going to I don't know. I think I shouldn't be listening to the voices in my head. I need to go see a therapist or like put be put on some meds or something because I just I have three voices in my head now. I think the princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. <laughs> Her touch is cold and ethereal, 
formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. We could probably grab her and kill her again, if we wanted to. We don't even need a blade. She looks fragile enough to me. Uh, we'll wait and see how things play out. There's no need for violence this time around. She's already dead. I see you don't have that annoying knife anymore. No, but I've still got these bare hands. These hands are ready to eat for everyone, including ghosts. So, does that mean you regret what you've done? Are you here to apologize and make nice? Hey, crap solution, maybe? Not a chance. Because I might be interested in seeing a little begging. She's into some weird stuff. I wonder if that's why she was down here. Maybe maybe she was chained up by her own will and was hoping that she'd find somebody to, I don't know, like. <laughs> uh, this is, I, I shouldn't be allowed to make video content anymore. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Do you know why you came back? Uh, stop playing victim. You threatened me last time. That's only because I told her that I was coming to kill her. Sorry I killed you last time, I shouldn't have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did. Uh, and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. I'm sorry, is there any way I can make it up to you? The people who, oh my goodness, there's so many options. <sighs> the people who wanted you dead tricked me and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's team up. Uh, what do you want from me? If I knew I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain. I wouldn't have slain you. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? I think that would be my biggest question. You're dead. At least most of dead. What can you do to hurt me? After I killed you, this cabin. I want to stay. I want to say it teleported. It wasn't in the woods anymore. Time stopped meaning anything. And I had to kill myself to escape. <sighs> I guess I should tell you why I was sent to kill you. You were going to end the world. That's a good option, too. I was told you were going to end the world. Okay, clearly slaying you isn't going to work. What do you want? Jesus, so many choices. And what? You just, just believed that? You, you killed, killed me without me giving it any thought? thought? That's cold. I mean, when you say it like that. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. She is right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of us. Oh boy. Leave it at that. I'm not cold. I'm just dumb. I'm just a big, dumb, stupid idiot. Stupid, stupid. What was I thinking? I was just believing what I was told. You didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? Well, were you going to end the world? What are you going to do if I help you get out of this? Obviously, it was wrong of me to believe that. How could you have ended the world if all it took was to kill you with a knife at the heart? I feel like we shouldn't be as naive to the kind of power that she truly possesses. Maybe she just did not want to fight back. Maybe she was just done with it all. And there, she has deeper power than this. And she just chose not to fight back. So I don't think that saying, you know, it was easy to kill her is the right choice in any situation. Because she's probably down here for a reason. But she also did not answer my question. And so then again, I will ask, were you going to kill the world? Kill the, in the world? The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. So can I kill you? Oh. Okay. You still didn't answer my question. Even if you didn't, even if you don't want to end it, does letting you out of this world out of here mean the world is going to end. It does. We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I really, really don't know. 
I'm not lying to you. I promise. The world doesn't matter. All I like remember is that I'm supposed to be there, there, not here. I'm just supposed, supposed to be a part of it. It's its home, I think. But what does it mean for anything, Dad? I ended, but I also didn't. I'm not so sure endings are real. What are you going to do if I help you out of this? Uh, what are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe I'll, Maybe I'll just fade away. away. I'm really able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Maybe I'll haunt you. It's a tough question, asking someone what she's going to do with her life. The princess leans in close and pauses, the frigid air between you stale and unmoving. Especially when that someone is dead. <laughs> oh. oh! She pulls back with a playful giggle. I don't think most living people could answer that either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? I definitely don't, so I'm not- I'm not even gonna lie to you, I really don't. Where are you gonna end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. Okay, leave it at that. Uh, uh So many questions! Uh. <laughs> okay team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? Uh, if you're dead, then there really isn't much for me to do there. Uh, is there? I guess I'll get going, leave her in the basement, retrieve the blade. Team, I'm out of ideas. We could always try violence. It's worked for us so far. She's a ghost. Who says ghosts are immune to violence? every piece of media about ghosts these guys act like they're living in in the medieval times where there weren't movies <laughs> that'd be crazy right common sense there's nothing common or sensible about common sense action and observation are the only things that matter fine then let me observe that the acts of killing her and killing ourself haven't got us much of anywhere. We're still back in this cabin, we're still dealing with her, only now she has a good reason to hate us. I suppose you have a point. Do you have any ideas then? We could always ask her what she wants. Oh, for the love of... Don't do that. Whatever she wants, it will end the world. But is that really so bad? Yes, it is by its very definition bad. But those are the only options, aren't they? Violence or doing what she wants. Or just leaving her down here. Though ignoring a problem is rarely a solution, is it? <sighs> the voices in my head aren't doing me any good! <laughs> The voices in my head aren't helping! I want to ask why we're different. Why did I die and not um, turn into a ghost? You don't look dead, killer. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead, either. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. At this point, I don't even know. I've got talon-like claws on my fingers. I may have five fingers. I'm pretty fuzzy, so I, I really don't know. I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, if even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. 
that you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. You said you wanted to, uh, you wanted to do what now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I need, I really need to stop. I, I need to take a nap or something. After all, you owe me. Okay, she really didn't like my joke. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. <sighs> you won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Uh, what if I say no, this would just be temporary, right? You'll leave once we're out of the cabin. If, if I let you in, I do still get to be in control. Oh, excuse me, sounds great. Do it. Let the princess possess you. The answer is no. I need to think on this. Would it be? I feel like if I ask her if it's gonna be temporary, she'll go, yeah, 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 sure, 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 it's gonna be, te sure, it's gonna be temporary, absolutely. Uh, but I really wanna, I really wanna ask either of these two questions. Do I? No. Would you leave? If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, long, long. Time. That's a long time. Don't much like the sound of that. It's crowded enough in here as is. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. That is a very dangerous train of thought. Sure. Would I still be in control? Why not? That didn't sound very convincing. That doesn't sound very reassuring. <laughs> I can't believe you're even entertaining her right now. I mean, just look at her. Do you think she has good intentions for her murderer's body? Of course she doesn't. I, uh, I, I, do it! Let's do it! The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. You're really not trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> hey, bucko, push off. This is my story, okay? I'm doing it the way that I want to do it. And if I want to let a princess come inside me... <laughs> If I want to let a princess come inside me, I'm going to fucking do it. <laughs> See you soon. Oh, man. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart, all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. Mm. I'm not sure I like this. C can we get a do-over? It's too late for that now. Too late for do-overs. I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels... heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. 
Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? I told you, I had voices in my head and they really weren't cooperating when we were making this decision to let you do this. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor, are they also supposed to be you? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay, you can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. Just wait a second, because wait. So, I, this is probably something that I should have picked up on at the start when I saw Voice of the Cold. But Voice of the Hero is what we were before because we had the intentions of going in, slaying the princess, and saving the world. But after we realized that we weren't saving the world at all, or that we'd be trapped in like our own void of damnation, we then like wake up again with the voice of the cold because what we did was a cold blooded action. So now we have like the voice of the cold being like, yeah, I mean, it's okay if we kill, you know, drip a little bit more blood, it's, it's fine. But then there's like the voice of the hero and the narrator. And now I think after we, I don't know, if we do come back again, there might be like voice of the slain, voice of the, the ghost, something like that. I feel like she's going to have her own voice as well now that she's within our body. That is fucking fantastic. I'm clearly the same thing you are. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? Honestly, I'm kind of just the pilot. I, I mean, I'm just I'm just the, the mech and they're the gear is turning. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. And now they're arguing. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a... memory than a person. That's rude. You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously, she's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. Am I? <sighs> this is infuriating. Just... Whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. I can't think straight. There's too much noise. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time and everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine if you listen to her. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Wouldn't that be nice? There's only one way to find out. I got no other options but to leave the basement, so here we go! Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. That is kind of why we were down here in the first place, is because it would have been the end of the world. At this point, who knows? That's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Ship of Theseus. Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, 
your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you. And I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And whine. <laughs> this body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Take the take the blade. Trudge forward. Ooh. Ooh. I don't. Mm. Mm! I'm very curious to know what exactly would happen if I were to take the blade, because I think realistically, right, if I were to take the blade, that would result in me possibly ending it all, killing myself. But then I am possessed by the princess, so she might try to stop me, in which I'm still going to have to trudge forward anyway, so I, I want to see what happens. You reach forward and mindlessly take the blade from the table. What do you plan to do with it? Slay the princess, that's what we're here for. Isn't that an interesting idea? I hadn't even considered it as an option. Slaying her would slay you. Are you sure you're willing to do that? Absolutely. Of course we're sure. The decision has already been made. All right then. Better this than ferrying her out of here. What do you think you're doing? Hear that? She's scared. No point wasting more time. Do it. Do it! You lift Do the it! Blade, then plunge it deep into your guts. Pain spreads quickly through your torso as you attempt to turn its edge up towards your heart. No! The princess, her spirit bound to your prison of flesh as she had once been bound to the basement's prison of stone, cries out in agony as you slice through organ and muscle. Your skin roils and bucks as she violently pushes against it from the inside. Bits of her seep through, white and glowing with ethereal light, but still the walls of your prison hold. Is this really what you wanted? Do you hate me so much that you would kill yourself just to deny me freedom? I don't hate you, but this feels like the right choice. I got voices in my own head telling me <laughs> this is the Yes, he would, because he knows what's at stake he knows what will happen if you leave this place. I'm not so sure about all of that. Don't be modest. You're a hero. You think I'm just going to stick around while you die? Hell no, I'm leaving. You can try if you want, but I think this is an end for all of us. Out, let me out, let me out, let me out! No! The princess's form continues struggling to pull itself out of you, but the effort is in vain. You collapse to your knees. Take on a spirit and destroy works, it the only way you can. It starts to fade. And then what happens? I think he's gone. Just like everything else. Are we dead? I don't know. I don't think so. This is different than it was last time. Right, because when we killed the princess, everything kind of just like disappeared but we were still alive until we killed ourselves, which would repeat the cycle but because the princess is us now it's like we're stuck in between limbo damn this is a good concept as the voices in your head debated amongst themselves the form of the princess crawls from your body and into the vast nothing surrounding you do you think we're done do you Okay, bye. But you do not get the chance to respond. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her steed. In her stead. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror up there. Why is it here? Why now? 
The narrator's gone. Is. Does that mean the world ended? He was never going to outlast us. I don't know what. I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go back. Go about looking for her. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Approach the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. What else can we do? The mirror never scared you. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels. I don't know. Final. Ignore him. Final fantasy. Final yeah, destination. Final countdown. You approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Yeah, you said that one already. Ignore him. You have to look. The voice feels small, distant as you approach. Gaze into the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin? You are at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What are you? The gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Let her out of here. Let her out of here? Oh, are we talking to the, the little, the handy who's? Do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you trapped? Wait, what? Ah, do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do you know, do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity or destroy your body. Ah! <laughs> I, I will say this game has some replayability. Like if you genuinely wanted to try to get every achievement for this game, cause there's like 92 achievements. You could very much spend hours replaying and going through all these options hell i might even make another video i don't know how this feels like the end i don't know how many chapters are supposed to be but like holy shit! i want to know are you the princess she is part of me and part of me is her but were you always the princess or are you just making her a part of yourself you speak in circles does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Then what are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Still trying to figure that out, I guess. Solitary lights, what do you mean? What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Because maybe we're not of this world. So what happens now? Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. If only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces do of you do I need to find? And what if I don't and what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're doing? You're going to do? Okay, make me forget. How many more pieces? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. And 
then how much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Uh, since the princess is uh, are you gonna destroy the world? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being somatic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die. Just like that. It's just done and over with. Snap of a finger. Blink of an eye. Bring the specter to her. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Note, you can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard or RI on your controller. Oh, oh, okay, okay. R1. Okay, all right, I think, I think I'm going to end it here because I, ooh, ooh, this is getting good. I'm gonna, I think this is a save, but yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That is Slay the Princess. I have no words because there's so many possibilities to how this game could continue to play out. My playthrough could be vastly different from anybody else who has played this, except unless you've, of course, made the same choices as me. But a lot of people will, you know, pick different dialogue for different options. I don't, I truly don't believe that there is one playthrough that is identical on like a blind run. Obviously, if you're watching this video and then, you know, you just decide to play the game for yourself, my camera just died. As I was saying, I truly do not believe that there is a single playthrough unless you are watching me play and then decide to play it for yourself and follow my exact steps. But if on a blind playthrough, somebody were to pick the choices on their own, Nobody would pick exactly the same sequence of cho choices that I picked because there's just so many fucking options. So many things could lead to different paths. I could have chosen on my first run to just not kill her and see what happens, but I'll, I probably won't know unless, you know, I, I restart the game. It's like in Undertale when you have played through both the pacifist and the genocide run, the neutral run. If you have a save file on your computer for that game, Flowey is going to know that you have been here before. It's it's so crazy how choose your own adventure games like this and like Undertale can just completely throw all other options out of the window when you've already made a set path for yourself moving forward. One of the achievements that I just got for this game was the uh, the real Slay the Princess start, starts here or something like that. And I thought that that was so cool because that was just the beginning. That was just one of several different choices that you could have made. Oh my gosh! Alright, I'm going to stop gushing about this game. I'm definitely going to get back to this because I really want to see what more this game has to offer. Like I said, there's 92 achievements that you can get for this game, and I'm not a completionist, but I would like to see where this goes and what possible other endings I can get, what other paths I can find myself getting into. And I hope that you'll be there to join with me. And if you're new around here, subscribe so that you know when I play this game again. If you like the vibes here, if you like the game, and you just want to stick around for the game, I'd suggest, you know, hitting that subscribe button like the bell for notifications. I play other cool games too. <laughs> if you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here and then I'll let YouTube recommend whatever you watch next as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Don't slay any princesses because that could be the end of your world. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. <laughs> Big body out.